Jean-Honoré Fragonard, 1732-1806, was a prolific 18th-century French painter. He created over 550 paintings that captured the spirit of the Rococo period. The Swing, his most famous painting, captures the wit and sensuality of a lug triangle between the evokes and the erotic feelings of hidden desire and fleeting temptation. Let us investigate into a Fragonard masterpiece, A Forbidden Love in this video. Make sure to watch till the end and acknowledge the scariest painting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Art Unfold for more videos like this one. Let's begin. The Swing, also known as the Happy Accident of the Swing, is an oil painting in the Wallace Collection in London that is one of Fragonard's most famous works. It's regarded as one of the Rococo era's masterpieces and as Fragonard's most well-known work. An elegantly dressed young woman on a swing is depicted in the painting. A young man with a hat points towards her billowing dress from the brushes below and to the left. A small white dog barks nearby as a smiling older man, nearly hidden in the shadows on the right, propel the swing with ropes. The lady is wearing a burgery hat, shepherd's hat, and flings her shoe with her left foot outstretched. There are two statues present, one of a putto, who watches from above the young man on the left with a finger in front of his lips, and the other two putti, who stands beside the older man on the right. The painting depicts a young gentleman hidden in the brushes, watching a lady on a swing being pushed by her spouse, who's standing in the background, hidden in the shadows, unaware of the affair. The young man catches a glimpse of what's underneath the lady's dress as she swings forward. According to the dramatist Charles Cole's memoir, a couturier, homme de la cour, first commissioned Gabriel Francois Doyen to create this painting of him and his mistress. Doyen refused to do this frivolous work and passed the commission on to Fragonard. The man had asked Fragonard to paint a portrait of his mistress seated on a swing pushed by a bishop, but Fragonard painted a layman instead. This frivolous painting style quickly became the target of the Enlightenment philosophers, who demanded a more serious art that reflected man's nobility. What is Rococo? The three most basic desires of 18th century France were money, power, and sex. To be considered successful, he had to be wealthy, powerful, and attractive. The French aristocracy worked tirelessly to gain funds, titles, and lovers for these three idols. The Rococo period was one of the self-indulgence, where greed was rewarded and more was preferred. Being modest, insignificant, and chaste were cynically abandoned in favor of a more luxurious world of material comforts and easy virtues. Through his masterpiece, The Swing, Jean-Honoré Fragonard explores the three basic desires of money, power, and sex. Power. The painting's focal point is a beautiful, aristocratic lady dressed opulently. Her clothes are adorned with silk, ribbons, and lace, and she wears a coy berge hat on her delicate head. Her legs are dressed in expensive white stockings with pink pump shoes highlighting her delicate feet. She's a vision of beauty. The gifts of youth, grace, and charm impact her. She's magnificent because of her exquisite femininity. She's a moving ball of warm pink against a cool turquoise background. The lady symbolizes power. Power can take many forms. The ability to deceive is regarded as a source of power. The ability to choose is regarded as a source of power. The ability to love is also regarded as a source of power. The lady possesses all three of these abilities. She lies to her husband. She makes her own destiny. She adores her potential suitor. The lady is involved in an affair. The pink lady looks lovingly into the eyes of her suitor. Her head tilts down to look at him, who's lying at her feet. He's adored by her. He's more youthful, vibrant, and alive than her older, possessive husband. She has control over her husband's ignorance as well as her suitor's heart. Money. Money, 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 he says. It must be amusing. In the world of the wealthy, as the famous Swedish pop group ABBA famously sang, money can open doors to unimagined possibilities. The Swing by Fragonard oozes glamorous possibilities, all funded by money. Fashionable clothes, exclusive amusements, graceful living, romantic adventures, and financial independence are all examples of elegant possibilities. The painting depicts all of these possibilities. The lady and two gentlemen are dressed in the latest fashion. They're wasting valuable working hours by loitering outside. They're relaxed, smiling, and content. These are the idle wealthy. 
Three actors in a French comic opera portray the swing's affluent aristocracy. They all play a part in the story that is unfolding. Money is represented by the gentleman in the bottom right corner. He's a married nobleman. He looks sharp in his somber suit and powdered white hair. His affectionate smile is directed at the lady in the swing. He's much older than the young lady, and has kind but possessive eyes for her. He is her much senior husband. He's wealthy, which is how he was able to marry her. The robes in his hands represent matrimonial ties. She may swing away from her husband, but her marriage ties always draw her back. As a result, they have a marriage a la mode, or fashionable wedding, based on money rather than love. Sex The young and virile gentleman in the lower left corner. He's in his prime and wishes to enjoy the pleasures of his lady love. He's a potential suitor. He stands in for sex. Is it a coincidence that the suitor with carnal desires is hiding from the husband among the flowers in the ground? He uses the opportunity to look at his lover and down at her petticoat. From the viewer's perspective, you can only see that the lady's legs and stockings. But the younger lover is seeing more than what's respectable, paced on the tilt of his head, the angle of her dress, and the smile on his face. With this realization, Fragonard's The Swing takes on highly erotic overtones, and it's subject to become quite scandalous. First, we have a cheating wife, who allows her hidden lover to inspect her underwear to see if she's wearing any. Seated Cupid is a statue painted above the lover. Etienne Maurice Falconet, a contemporary sculptor, created this famous statue in 1757 for King Louis XV's mistress, Madame de Pomme de Dour. Cupid, seated, raises his hand to his lips and gestures toward the lady, indicating that he knows her secret. The statue represents discretion and secrecy, both of which are required for the lady loves fair to survive. Voltaire, the celebrated Enlightenment philosopher, once said of the statue, Qui que tu sois, voici ton maître, or whoever you are, here is your master. Love conquers all, and it fuels the drama in the swing. The Painter Jean-Honoré Fragonard was a French painter and printmaker known for his late Rococo style, characterized by remarkable facility, exuberance, and hedonism. Fragonard was one of the most prolific artists active in the last decades of the Ancien Regime, producing over 550 paintings, not counting drawings and etchings, only five of which are dated. His genre paintings, which convey an atmosphere of intimacy and veiled eroticism, are among his most popular works. Fragonard was so completely ignored for at least half a century that his name was omitted from Wilhelm Loop's 1873 art history volume. Later evaluations have re-established his place among the all-time greats of French painting. Impressionists, particularly his grandniece Berthe Mazereau and Renault, are undeniably influenced by his handling of local color and expressive brushstroke. Fragonard's paintings, like those of Francois Boucher, appear to capture an era. Spirit of Rococo Jean-Honoré Fragonard was the most prolific 18th century French painter. He captured the French aristocracy's morals, values, and pleasures in his extensive collection of painting. His vibrant colors capture the spirit of an era. His assured brushstrokes emphasize the subject's self-assurance. Fragonard's paintings are consistently excellent. The painting theme of sensuality is conveyed by the soft lighting and pastel colors of turquoise blue, saffron yellow, and rose pink. The intensely romantic landscapes with shaded leaves and flowers foreshadow the landscapes of 19th century romanticism. While Fragonard's sensuality was later condemned as frivolous during the French Revolution and the early 19th century, it was later recognized as a type of humor, lightheartedness, and wit. In the swing, Jean-Honoré Fragonard captures the basic desires of money, power, and sex. This is a masterpiece by Fragonard, but unfortunately, this is a forbidden relationship. What do you think of the backstory and significance of the painting? Let us know in the comments below. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to Art Unfold for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.